Today I'll be sharing 10 fragrances that I've been wearing in the month of October. If you'd like to know about these 10 fragrances, then please stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Abby and I make videos about fragrances, fashion, lifestyle and beauty. To my existing subscribers and friends, thank you so much for coming back and showing me so much love. It means the absolute world to me. So today's video, as said earlier, is going to highlight 10 fragrances that I just can't stop wearing in the month of October. And I'll be starting with Alien by Mugla. This fragrance was a hate for me at first. I literally could not stand this perfume. It's a jasmine amber kind of fragrance is super super strong it is incredibly long lasting it's either a love or a hate for a lot of people for me i've experienced the hate now i'm in love and i think it's fantastic especially for this time of the year so this is alien by mugla the next fragrance on my list is lolita lempica by lolita lempica this is definitely a very different fragrance i've not been reaching for it for a long time but it just kind of i just kind of thought about it recently and i began wearing it and i realized why i fell in love with this fragrance in the first place it it's described as a fruity floral gourmand i don't see that for me this is a really quirky fragrance some might even say it's weird it smells literally like licorice and vanilla with some violets and cherry this is one of those fragrances that i used to wear any time of the day like any season i just would put it on because it projects really really well it definitely leaves a trail behind and it's quite different i wouldn't advise blind buying this at all unless you know about this brand it is not sweet in a um what's the word it's not sweet in a sickening way it's really well balanced and i personally think it's beautiful so this is lolita lempica next on the list is my burberry black right here this fragrance just makes me think of a sexy date night i love wearing this in the evenings i've i've been reaching for it a lot lately it's quite a strong fragrance it has like this strong patchouli this was created by mason francis um the same um, perfumer that that did the iconic um baccarat rich 540 also created this fragrance this is absolutely stunning it's warm it's spicy it has jasmine amber it's got peach rose and patchouli this definitely is very strong very potent very very much in your face i don't really get much sweetness from it i get just that very strong pungent um scent that is definitely unique but amazing so this is my burberry black next is angel muse by mugla this is niche quality fragrance in my opinion it's like a very nutty hazelnut kind of scent with creaminess it's chocolatey it does have patchouli if you don't like patchouli then i would definitely say maybe give it a try but the patchouli does stand out in this fragrance it's spicy it has grapefruit and vetiver in the base which are very two strong notes but i don't mind them and a lot of people are discovering this fragrance even more and enjoying it i think this is definitely very unisex even though it's marketed towards women it's quite intense but i absolutely adore it so this is angel muse by mugla the next fragrance on my list is L'Artisan Perfuma Le Hombre Extreme. This is a vanilla, sweet, warm and spicy fragrance with a very powdery dry down. Very powdery. And this has such, oh my gosh, such a long lasting warming vibe. It has notes of nutmeg, patchouli, it has Turkish rose and it also has cinnamon in it. It's so beautiful. Honestly, one of the most stunning powdery scents in my collection. If you've tried Narciso Rodriguez Poudre, you would love this. This is a more niche kind of smelling um, alternative 
to that perfume Narcisse Poudre. This is definitely a lot better, a lot more refined, and I prefer it personally. So this is Le Hambre Extreme by L'Artisan Perfumer. Next on my list is Gris Dior by Christian Dior. Um, quite recently, someone left a comment on the video the first video i made when i initially bought this perfume and apparently that review was didn't have any substance that review was not structured which i kind of took as a constructive criticism because then i was kind of starting out um talking about fragrances so obviously i wasn't the knowledge i have now is not the knowledge i had then this fragrance is stunning is unisex and i think it's one of those perfectly blended unisex perfumes this can be one to me all year round i do think it thrives more in um cooler weather it's warm it's spicy it has rose and amber and it also has this beautiful powdery dry down it's not too powdery not like le hambre extreme but it does have this slight powderiness that just gives you that comfort and warmth that i really really enjoy in this fragrance so this is gris dior by christian dior next on my list is initial side effect this fragrance is so beautiful the bottle is stunning look how velvety the bottle is and the fragrance itself also feels velvety smooth this has rum it's got cinnamon it's got vanilla it's just one of those very unique fragrances that i can't stop wearing this is for anyone that wants to feel like a boss. This can be worn by a man or a woman. Although I feel this leans towards um, the feminine side. This is a really long lasting fragrance that just boosts my spirit. It makes me happy. It makes me feel sexy and super sophisticated. I love it, love it, love it. Just imagine, you know those Arab women that you see in Dubai or you see in i don't know department stores that they don't actually walk they glide in their lovely abaya dresses and this is what they smell like i have a full review of this fragrance on my channel i'll leave it up in the cards and in the description bar below initial side effects is stunning and i can't stop wearing it next is alfetti seda i have a full review of this fragrance also on my channel this and side effect have some similarities in the sense that they both have rum in common but the rum in this one is a lot more potent a lot more stronger and with that woody cedar makes this a lot more potent than um, side effect however i prefer the sweetness that side effect has to offer but this also has this really strong smokiness that i love it's definitely quite intense it does leave a nice trail behind i love everything penhaligons you guys already know but this fragrance right here i can't stop reaching for it it's stunning in every sense of the word it's actually a unisex fragrance that i think is also perfectly blended and i really enjoy it so this is our fetiseta by penhaligons i'm sorry i have to mention this perfume again i i love it i just love it so much this is mfk 540 and this has been good to me guys this fragrance is iconic i don't need to say much about it and i can't stop reaching for it now that it is cooler i love this because it never lets me down you don't need more than one or two sprays at the very most and this fragrance will stay on you for days considering how much i spray this i still haven't gotten that far i'm not even halfway there yet but this is stunning this is great and this is amazing although this hasn't been in any particular order but the fragrance i've been wearing the most out of all of these fragrances is mancera's roses vanille i can't stop wearing this guys look how much damage i've done to it so far this fragrance is roses with sugary vanilla and if you're if you're aware of mancera fragrances they have this distinctive fake kind of synthetic smell it's almost as if they have like a secret ingredient that's added to their fragrances and this is just perfectly blended i love this fragrance so much i also love the cap because it's a twist cap and it just feels more secure that you know even if it dropped it wouldn't just um 
break if that makes sense well it would break us his glass but you guys know what i'm saying um this is amazing 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 i would wear this all year round you do not need to spray this more than twice twice is even pushing it because this would most fragrances you can smell on yourself for a while but with this you will smell it on yourself for hours and hours on end i use this at least at least four times a week yeah more maybe more but i use this all the time and i forgot to mention it has this sharp lemon opening that it's an opening that doesn't seem to fully go away so it gives you that freshness constantly and i think it's just wonderful so yeah this is rose's vanille by mancera right guys so that's the end of this video i would love to know what fragrance you can't stop wearing in the month of october please comment that down below i would love to read your comments thank you so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next one bye guys